Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing five things that most men test women for when they're dating or getting into a new relationship with them. But before I get started, if you're looking to attract the man you want into a lasting, committed relationship, or if you're with a man and you want to strengthen the connection and bring him closer than ever, be sure to click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos and information. So the first thing that men test women for when they're dating or in the early stages of a relationship is they typically test their level of enthusiasm for his passions and interests and hobbies. Now I want to point out right off the bat that this is not about pretending to be someone you're not or shrinking yourself down into what you think a man wants you to be. It's just the opposite. All of my work is about being authentic and uncovering who you are and just presenting your best self to a man and to the world so that he naturally feels attracted to you and feels this desire to come close and make sure that you know he keeps you in his life forever so when it comes to a man's passions and interests, let's say you know a man's really into sports or you know a particular hobby and that's not your favorite thing in the world. You don't have to pretend that you're really into it because you think that's what he wants. He just wants to know that when he shares things with you and he's really excited about something that you are going to listen to him and kind of share in his enthusiasm and support him, you know, especially if it's something he's really passionate about, like if he's building a business or volunteering hearing and you know if he sees you as someone he wants to be in a long-term relationship with he's gonna want to know that you're gonna be supportive and interested in these things so that's the first one the second thing that most men test women for is their sense of humor. Now, I know there's a lot of men out there that think women don't have good senses of humor a lot of times or that they take things really personally or take things too seriously. So if you're dating a guy who kind of jokes around or teases you a lot, that's a great thing. That's actually a great sign that he's interested in you and enjoys talking with you and he's attracted to you. So I would just sort of get into the habit of uh, taking everything uh, as a good perception rather than immediately taking things personally or placing a lot of meaning on what a guy says, especially negative meaning like, oh no, he doesn't like me, you know, if he's teasing you. I would just assume that a guy likes you, he's attracted to you. If he seems like a good guy, you know, if he seems like a high quality masculine energy man, I would just really go with the flow and not take everything so personally that he says. Just assume that he likes you and that he's teasing you. And if you wait a couple seconds after a man says something in like a teasing way, he'll usually say, oh, I'm just joking around or I'm just teasing you. And that's a great thing. So typically men, especially if they're sort of carefree, funny guys that like to joke around a lot, they do test women for their sense of humor. So I would really get into the habit of just kind of being easy about things and don't take everything so seriously or personally. The next thing that uh, men test women for when they're dating or getting into a new relationship is they test them for their sense of adventure. And they do this because they think that it's going to uh, give them some insight into who you are. And it depends on the man and his personality. But if you're dating a guy who's really spontaneous, maybe he likes to just pick up and take a trip for the weekend, or like if you're on a date and he wants to go somewhere else spontaneously, he uh, is likely testing you to see if you're kind of go with the flow or if you need things to be planned out. You know, other men are more planners and they're really cautious and they like everything planned out. So it depends on his personality. But if a man is really spontaneous and go with the flow, it's probably important to him that you're that way as well if he's looking to be in a long-term relationship with you potentially. So that's the third thing. Uh, men can sometimes test women for their sense of adventure and spontaneity. The fourth one is uh, your sense of family men test women for their sense of family. If they're looking, you know, if they're a family oriented man and they're looking to maybe have a family of their own one day, or if he has kids and he's looking to integrate you, you know, into his family someday. So if a man introduced you to his parents or his friends and family, that's a great thing. And a lot of times they're sort of gauging how you interact with everyone and fit in with the people in his world. So um, that's kind of an obvious one, but you just want to make sure that, you know, um, 
you're easy, you kind of go with the flow and easy to get along with his friends and family because likely he is watching to see how you interact and how well you fit in with everybody. And the last thing that men test women for when they're dating or getting into a new relationship with them is uh, they test your tolerance for his independence. This is probably the most important one on this list in my opinion, so I'll say it again. They're testing your tolerance for his independence. So most men you know, need a lot of space and alone time, especially if he's spent a lot of time with you recently and his feelings are deepening for you and the two of you are bonding. Those are all fantastic things, but most men need a little time away or time to themselves after something like that. You know, their testosterone levels need to build back up. It's just a physiological thing. And a lot of women freak out or panic or, you know, the worst thing you can do in a situation like that is chase a man down and ask him why he needs some space. So if a man is thinking that you could potentially be a good, you know, long-term relationship partner, he will test you for that. He might back off and take some space for himself. You know, it's obviously if a man disappears for weeks at a time, that's a major red flag. But if he needs a day or two to himself or just needs some space from time to time, the best thing you can do is just give him some space and take some space for yourself as well and go do things that are fun for you and that you enjoy so that when you come back together, it's like two whole people coming together. It's not this codependent thing where you constantly need him around and you panic every time he needs to take some space. So that's really, really important. Um, most men, and this can be unconscious too, um, unconsciously testing the woman they're dating or in a relationship with for your tolerance for his independence. So you want to give a man total freedom to take some time for himself when he needs it and even encourage it at times. Really give him the space he needs before he has to like ask for it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Those are the five things that most men test women for when they're dating or getting into a new relationship with them. I hope this was helpful for you. I would love Love to hear your thoughts on this and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website and I will talk to you soon.